everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got some really beautiful stamps and stencils from our friends at Daisy Made Designs. And here's a card that my friend Debbie made and it is an easel card using this stamp right here, afternoon tea set, and also this doily stencil. Very cute and if you've never made an easel card, they really are very simple. Um, first of all, Daisy, first of all, Debbie used um, opal polish, lavender blue opal polish um, with her stencil and the background paper that she used was from an abundant floral paper pack and it's just sort of a cream colored um, patterned paper and she went ahead and used her stencil on that with the opal polish and while that was drying she used the afternoon tea stamp set as long and as well as some of these great tri-blend markers to color her teapot. Now when using tri-blend tri markers, you wanna make sure that you're using um, the alcohol proof uh, black ink, and we have those on paperwishes.com. What's great about them, if you just search black ink, you'll find some specifically labeled um, from Spectrum Noir, you'll find some labeled uh, Alcohol proof, oh, I had trouble getting that one out. Memento ink also works great for that, okay? So any any ink that is water-based, you wanna use with alcohol because um, they're opposites and they won't bleed into each other. So I was gonna show you how this easel card was made. And for those of you that are new with us, we, we make a lot of easel cards. We love the presentation of them. So what we did here is you just took a card that was originally, um, oops, <laughs> six and a half by five, cut it into a five inch square, and you place the fold at the top, and you're opening the card, and then you're just bringing that top down to the center fold, and you're just creasing that, all right, there. And this front panel right here is the panel that's going to be propped up, and this is the panel that you glue that doily to. So it's only glued to the bottom right here, this front panel, so that when it lays flat, it can pop up like that. So nothing is glued to this top portion. Let me show you some other great stamps from Daisy May. Here, this one is this Coffee Time stamp set, which I think is so fun, and um, Paper Wishes also has in our Paper by the Sheet, we've got this great coffee bean paper that I thought that would look really great with. We've also got this um, dit. <laughs> ditzy flower stencil which is really cute has all these little flower buds and also the celebration cake stamp set so for this particular one I went ahead and stamped this and then um, just this image here and then I went ahead and added this great little banner and within the banner it's your birthday stamp so this is what that looked like when I was finished coloring that and added those pieces together. And I love that all the different stamps, you can add different things and build on them. So that's really fun. Here is another gorgeous card that my friend Debbie made. And look at this, it's a window card. So she stamped um, the sweet shop window and then she colored this with brown Spectrum Noir pen. Let me grab which one she used. I think this was the earth brown pen. Um, she did all those details, and then she also cut from the inside part of the window just that rectangle in the window, and then um, lined that with acetate, which you can also get at paperwishes.com. Um, really fun, and then adding all the little sweet shops, sweet shops, the shelf with all the candy, and they're just so fun to color all these great little goodies in, things like that. So adding that window in and then adding that inside piece was just really fun. So she also used a stencil. This is the stripey stencil. And um, let me show you. This is actually works double duty. You can do a couple of different great techniques with the stripey stencil. Debbie just took her blank card and placed this stencil right over the card and then used Distress, distress Oxide Festive Berries ink, and then you can just use a blender brush just to go ahead and blend that in. So here I've gone ahead and done that here on this background piece, but I also wanna show you that once you take this off, then you can then turn this, and we're gonna make a gingham pattern with it. So I'm gonna take Debbie's 
idea and just take that another step. I'm just using this hunky dory low tack tape. This stuff is great. It's great for stencils. You could also use repositional stencil, uh, repositional spray um, to keep your stencil nice and flat. But for my purposes, because we were moving it from vertical to horizontal, um, that tends to get a little sticky on your surface. So I'm just going to use the same color, blot that down there, and then. I found that just going in the direction of the stencil. If I go like this, I'm gonna move my little stencil pieces around. So I'm gonna go, my stencil is placed horizontally, so that's how I'm gonna go. Oops. Probably should place a little tape at the top too. There we go, I got ahead of myself. All right, so I'm not going to do this whole thing because we can definitely see the results very quickly here. All right, there's the gingham. So as you can see, just, you know, two great ways to use this. Go. And I'm going to also show you this other great card. I'm going to clean up my mess here that Debbie did. This is adorable. This one uses the Village Bakery stamp set, this great Village Bakery. And she even added a little fencing right here. Um, she stamped this once, and then she stamped the fencing on a separate piece of paper, and then stamped the bottom part of the house again, and then cut the fencing and the trees out. And as you can see, if you can see it this way, put some foam tape just under that fence part. So it's 3D now, and it's just a really great technique. So she also used Dotty stencil, which is a great background stencil. I'm going to show you what she did with this one too. Go get rid of all this extra stuff. So for the Dotty stencil, I'm just going to take this sheet of white cardstock, and we're going to place that right here. We're going to reuse our little pieces of tape. All right, she started off for the bottom to make the grass, okay, which is a really fun idea. So it's got green dots in the background for the grass, and then the, the rest are blue, the top for the sky. So we're taking this as the yellow and green Cat IQ. It's great, really nice opaque ink. Just doing the green dots along the bottom. to give that grassy background. All right, and then using the dark blue from the blue Cat IQ, I'm gonna be going, starting from the green. And I even kind of went down into the green a little bit because I don't wanna make, I wanna make sure I don't miss any dots is lining it back up again after you're all done because you missed a dot is not fun. All right, I'm not gonna finish that just for time. I think I will, because I'm gonna do the clouds next, so I'm gonna do a little bit higher. All right. So there we have our green to blue, sort of an ombre effect. And then Debbie took a um, scrap of paper and she tore it right here. And we're gonna start at the bottom here and we're gonna do a little bit of a grass edging, starting with our green. There we go. And you can see you've got that nice little edge there for the grass and you can move this up and down a little bit just like that, all right? And then we're gonna do that with the same, sort of a cloud look with the blue. And there you've got an entirely different look using the blue up in the blue dots with that great cloud background. So as you can see, 
it gives that just a little added interest there. So we've got a great money saver on these stamps and stencils for you today. Definitely check that out. If you are watching us on our blog page, then you can find that um, directly below the video. There's a great big blue button called Money Saver, and if you click on that, it'll take you to the Money Saver page where you can see the deal. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just check the description box right below the video, and you'll find links to both the Money Saver and paperwishes.com where you can find lots more videos and goodies to try. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.